What's up, guys? This is Chris from DraftDashboard.com. Here are my DFS picks for NBA Tuesday, April 20th. These picks apply for DraftKings and FanDuel. Before I get started, please drop a like on this video and hit that red subscribe button and hit that bell icon so you don't miss our new videos. In this video, I'm going to go over my top picks for today's NBA slate. And if you stick around to the very end of this video, we'll use the draft dashboard tools to make a DFS lineup using the picks we just made. Okay guys, we have a five game slate tonight. So let's take a look at the point guard position. I like Terry Rozier from the Charlotte Hornets playing the New York Knicks who have a good defense overall and they've been good versus opposing point guards but Terry Rozier has averaged 34.6 fantasy points per game on the season playing an average of 34 minutes per game with a 24% usage rate. He scored 66, 48 and 54 fantasy points in his last three games playing 39 40 and 43 minutes so he's playing monster minutes and he's been super productive he's projected at 37.6 fantasy points here tonight but i think he can score you over 40 fantasy points and get you five times value or more he's 7800 fanduel salary and he's 200 more on DraftKings. Vegas thinks there's going to be 209.5 points scored in this game, so it's not a super high scoring game here, but Terry Rozier is just playing so many minutes, and his last three games, over 50 fantasy points, almost 50 fantasy points or more in all three of those games, and he scored 23, 36, 42, 29, and 25 fantasy points in his last five games versus the Knicks. So I like Terry Rozier here versus the New York Knicks. Another point guard that I like is Cole Anthony from the Orlando Magic playing the Atlanta Hawks who have a middle of the pack defense overall and they give up the ninth most fantasy points to opposing point guards. Cole Anthony has averaged 24.4 fantasy points per game on the season playing an average of 27 minutes per game with a 23% usage rate. But he scored 39, 33, and 20 fantasy points in the last three games, playing 33, 29, and 20 minutes. He's projected at 24.2 fantasy points here tonight, but with those increased minutes, I think he can score over 30 fantasy points here and get you five times value or more. He's 5,600 FanDuel salary, and he's 400 more on DraftKings. Vegas thinks there's going to be 219.5 points scored in this game, and he did score 32 fantasy points in his last game versus the Hawks, so I like Cole Anthony here versus the Atlanta Hawks. Before I continue with the picks, I'm excited today because we added a new contest for everyone watching. If you want to enter the drawing for $100 PayPal, all you need to do is like this video, hit that subscribe button, and make a quick comment below to be entered into the drawing. We'll reply to a random comment and let you know that you won, and then we'll send you $100 PayPal. So it's that easy, and we pick a new winner every Saturday and announce them in our video. So get your comment in now so I can add another entry for you. Okay, let's take a look at the shooting guard position. I like Kevin Herter from the Atlanta Hawks playing the Orlando Magic, who have the fifth worst defense overall, and they give up the absolute most fantasy points to opposing shooting guards. Kevin Herter has averaged 24.5 fantasy points per game on the season, playing an average of 31 minutes per game with a 17% usage rate. But he scored 45, 31, and 26 fantasy points in the last three games, playing 40, 38, in 32 minutes. So he's also playing increased minutes, projected at 26.3 fantasy points here tonight, but I think he can score 28 fantasy points or more and get you five times value or more. He's 5,400 FanDuel salary and he's 200 more on DraftKings. Vegas thinks there's gonna be 219.5 points scored in this game and he did score 33 fantasy points in his last game versus the Magic. It's a fantastic matchup, so I like Kevin Herter Jr. here versus the Orlando Magic. Okay, another shooting guard that I like, 
I'm going to give you a value play here. I like Reggie Bullock from the New York Knicks playing the Charlotte Hornets, who have the seventh worst defense overall, and they give up the absolute most fantasy points to opposing shooting guards. Reggie Bullock has averaged 18.2 fantasy points per game on the season, playing an average of 28 minutes per game with a 14% usage rate. He scored 21, 20, and 23 fantasy points in his last three games, playing 36, 40, and 35 minutes. So he's playing a ton of minutes, projected at 20 fantasy points here tonight, and on FanDuel, that's 5.3 times value. He's only 3,800 FanDuel salary, but he has 700 more on DraftKings. So I love that FanDuel price. He's just playing a ton of minutes, and if he can get you over five times value, only scoring 20 fantasy points on FanDuel, it's a great matchup. So I like this play. So I like Reggie Bullock, especially on FanDuel here versus the Charlotte Hornets. Okay, let's take a look at the small forward position. I like Brandon Ingram from the New Orleans Pelicans playing the Brooklyn Nets, who have a middle of the pack defense overall, and they're middle of the pack defending opposing small forwards. Brandon Ingram has averaged 39.1 fantasy points per game on the season, playing an average of 35 minutes per game with a 28% usage rate. He scored 30, 59, and 44 fantasy points in the last three games, playing 39, 42, and 36 minutes. He's projected at 40.6 fantasy points here tonight, but I think he can score 44 fantasy points or more, get you five times value or more. He's 8,600 FanDuel salary, and he's 200 less on DraftKings. Now, I like this pick because he scored 40 and 56 fantasy points in his last two games versus the Nets, and he scored over 42 fantasy points in four out of his last five games. He's got 50 plus fantasy point upside, then Vegas thinks there's going to be 231.5 points scored in this game, so we got a high scoring game. So I like Brandon Ingram here versus the Brooklyn Nets. Another small forward that I like, I'm going to give you a value play here. I like Carmelo Anthony from the Portland Trailblazers playing the LA Clippers, who have a good defense overall, and they've been good versus opposing small forwards, but Carmelo Anthony has averaged 22.8 fantasy points per game on the season, playing an average of 25 minutes per game with a 24% usage rate. He scored 33, 16, and 30 fantasy points in the last three games, playing 28, 24, and 28 minutes. He's projected at 21.9 fantasy points here tonight. That's 5.2 times value. He's 4,200 FanDuel salary, and he's 200 more on DraftKings. So Vegas thinks there's going to be 226.5 points scored in this game, and Carmelo Anthony has scored 16, 23, 31, and 20 fantasy points in his last four games versus the Clippers. So I like Carmelo Anthony here versus the LA Clippers. Real quick guys, I got great news. For a limited time, we're offering a full 30 day trial to Draft Dashboard. You can try all of our DFS tools for all sports. You can try the position optimizer where you can see the top players ranked for each position. And we added a new player trends tool where you can see the top salary differences between FanDuel and DraftKings. It's a really good tool to help you pick out value for the site that you're playing on. Oh, and if you're tired of doing research every day, we just added a cheat sheet that shows hand-picked plays for the slate. No confusing stat lines, no headaches, just a simple cheat sheet that shows the absolute best players for your lineups. Okay, let's take a look at the power forward position. I like PJ Washington from the Charlotte Hornets playing the New York Knicks, who have a good defense overall, and they've been good versus opposing power forwards, but PJ Washington has averaged 28.4 fantasy points per game on the season, playing an average of 30 minutes per game with a 19% usage rate. He scored 47 fantasy points last game in 34 minutes with a 27% usage rate. Now he's projected at 28 fantasy points here tonight, and on FanDuel, that's only 4.3 times value because he's 6,500 FanDuel salary, but he's 1,100 less on DraftKings. 
So I love that DraftKings price. He scored 24, 27, 24, and 36 fantasy points in his last four games versus the Knicks. So I like P.J. Washington on DraftKings here versus the New York Knicks. Another power forward that I like, I'm going to give you a value play here. I like Taj Gibson from the New York Knicks playing the Charlotte Hornets, who have the seventh worst defense overall, and they give up the second most fantasy points to opposing power forwards. Taj Gibson has averaged 17.4 fantasy points per game on the season, playing an average of 21 minutes per game with a 10% usage rate. But he scored 35, 7, and 29 fantasy points in the last three games, playing 24, 16, and 35 minutes. He's projected at 18.2 fantasy points here tonight, but I think he can score over 20 fantasy points here and get you close to five times value on FanDuel because he's 4,400 FanDuel salary, but he's 600 less on DraftKings. So I love that DraftKings price. You see, he's got that 30 fantasy point upside. Just depends on how many minutes he's gonna play. I think he makes a good tournament play on DraftKings because he's got that 30 plus point upside for only 3,800 DraftKings salary. So I like Taj Gibson here versus the Charlotte Hornets. Okay, moving on to the center position. I like Carl Anthony Towns from the Minnesota Timberwolves playing the Sacramento Kings, who have the fourth worst defense overall, and they give up the fourth most fantasy points to opposing centers. Carl Anthony Towns has averaged 47.7 fantasy points per game on the season, playing an average of 34 minutes per game with a 29% usage rate. He scored 28 and 38 fantasy points in the last two games, playing 24 and 25 minutes. So his minutes and production have been down the past couple of games, but I expect those, those numbers to come up here tonight. He's projected at 43.8 fantasy points here tonight, but I think he can score you 50 fantasy points or more, get you five times value or more. He's 10,800 FanDuel salary, and he's 200 less on DraftKings. I like this pick because he scored 51, 49, 36, and 69 fantasy points in his last four games versus the Kings. And Vegas thinks there's going to be 237.5 points scored in this game. So that's a super high scoring game. Fantastic matchup. So I like Carl Anthony Towns here versus the Sacramento Kings. Okay, another center that I like, he's a mid-range play on FanDuel, but he's a value play on DraftKings. I like Nerlens Noel from the New York Knicks playing the Charlotte Hornets, who have the seventh worst defense overall in their middle of the pack defending opposing centers. Now, I know I've given you a few picks here from the Knicks, but I think there's just a lot of good value on the Knicks here tonight, especially in a five-game slate. So, New Orleans, New Orleans Noel has averaged 22.1 fantasy points per game on the season, playing an average of 23 minutes per game with a 10% usage rate. But he scored 28 and 28 fantasy points in the last two games, scoring 28, I'm sorry, playing 28 in 31 minutes. So his minutes per game have gone up quite a bit the past couple of games, and so has his production. He's projected at 25.2 fantasy points here tonight, and even on FanDuel, that's close to five times value. He's 5,100 FanDuel salary, but he's 600 less on DraftKings. So I love that DraftKings price. So I like Nerlens Noel here versus the Charlotte Hornets. If you want to try all these daily fantasy tools for yourself, click the link in the description below this video or just go to draftdashboard.com. You can use our DFS lineup optimizer to build quality lineups using our picks and your own custom player pool. Click the link in the description below this video and try all these daily fantasy tools right now. Thanks so much for watching. Oh, and don't forget to subscribe to this channel and hit that bell icon so you can get instant updates whenever we post a new video. Thank you so much for watching everyone. If you enjoyed this video, please smickety smash that like button and subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. Oh, and please comment below with your favorite player for this NBA slate. I love to hear what you guys have to think. Thanks again and good luck.